a refashion skirt project. That's what's coming up. I'm hoping this project is going to be an easy one. It may look easy because all I'm doing is taking it in and taking it up so that I've got that lovely flow of the pleats to the front to give it that asymmetrical look that I'm looking for. So yeah, let's get started. Um, it's, it feels comfortable there, so I'm not going to interfere with that. There's something really strange going on with that side, <laughs> with the hip area. It's, it's a wrap over. So I'll have plenty of um, skirt to play with in order to redesign this. And I, I love pleats, I absolutely love pleats. So I want to keep the length of the pleats, I want to shorten the rest of the skirt and taper it in. And let's see if I can add a style feature to it to make sure that I'm using most, if not all, of the skirt. So the pin is indicating the length that I want the skirt to be. That's all the way around. So I'm cutting off quite a bit. And then I'm going to take in, I'm going to take in the side seams without cutting into this yoke section. So I'm going to take that in quite a bit. Then all that is going to be cut around. So I'm going to release, yeah, there's a join. So I'm going to remove stitching up until this point here so that the bottom section of the pleating will be free from the rest of the skirt. And I'm going to base all that first before I decide on the other side. I have unpicked, released the pleating from the other side of the skirt. Now I'm going to cut the new length that I want. So I'm going to put that pin on the inside. Okay, and then I'm going to lay it flat. Take my ruler. I need to do now is cut. So that's how much I've got to play with to incorporate into the rest of this fashion project. So I'll put that to one side. And then the next thing you need to focus on is to the side seam. So where's the side seam? There it is. This side seam. You need to take that in quite a bit actually. I'm going to start here. So I really want a, I want a tapered look to this skirt so it allows the pleat to dance around as you walk. So I'm going to baste from here and because it's quite hippy as well, it's quite it's got a lot of hip to it. I'm going to just go straight down, do a basting stitch, and then if that's okay, then I'll sew it by machine. 
it's it's nice love this detail taking in the side seams this side is causing a lots of issues there's excess fabric hip action going on here and I'm a person who does not like inserting zips ever since <laughs> I was young I've never liked inserting zips so it fits okay here so I'm going to have to unpick this and then redo the zip and the seam that would be a lot better and I do like what's happening here because I'm taking in the side seams it's pulling a little bit and I like that so I'm going to do the same on the opposite side this is the wrap over section here just slightly so it matches the other side and I'm also going to lengthen it as well because I think it's a little bit too short so I'm going to add the hemline back on which will be a nice feature but there'll still be fabric left over there but I'm liking it it's going it's nice it's pleased that's doing it for me <laughs> so on that side seam just need to remove the basting stitch now I'm ready to sew the other side but I'm going to have to be really careful removing the zip because the stitching on this is so tiny so I have removed the zip it took forever those stitches are so tiny and as I was doing that I decided you know what I'm going to do I'm going to open up this seam open it up and keep the other seam intact for now and see if I can get some form of fastening some I don't know some creative idea to fasten with the leftover of the bottom of the skirt even though I will be putting the hem of, of this the original hem where is it there back onto the skirt so I will cut just about 2.5 centimeters an inch round about that above this line add it back onto the skirt I will definitely be doing that and then whatever is left over is going to be some kind of creative something or another <laughs> let's just see what happens um well this is what i like about spontaneous refashioning of a garment because i had a vague idea as i do with most of my projects um i'm in that phase where i just want to instead of sitting down designing and thinking it through just go for it and see what happens and i'm liking that process at the moment i really am enjoying that process so I'm just going to mark in my cut line is the this is a section that's been cut away from this that's going to be added back onto the skirt so these are going to these are going to be the these are going to be what are they going to be again the ties that's what they're going to be yes the ties so i'm just going to cut so it's a full length here i'm going to cut it in half and then it's going to be in half again sewn and then they will be the ties for the skirt
So this is where I'm up to. I have sewn the ties and pressed them. One will be intact and the other will be cut in half in order to be fastenings at the front of the skirt. I have attached the old hem back onto the skirt which is super cute. There's a line going all the way that you'll be able to see at the hemline and it has the original hem so I don't have to do any hemming there. So I'm going to take that to a sewing machine and sew that all the way around. I'm almost there, almost done. So I've added on the extra section to the hemline. Just need to bind that and that should be okay. So once that is done, it's the case of how I'm going to fasten this. So we're going to be using the ties that I have here. So one I am not going to cut and that will thread through these two loops like so and that will make sure it's extra secure so that be tied like that in that fashion and then the next one I am going to cut that in half I'll do that now and each one of these are going to go on either side about there and that one will go on the other side under the pleat and then they will also tie into position as well And then that will be it. I do have a spare button here. A button. So, yes, yeah, so I have to decide whether it's going to go that way around or that way around. It's going to go this way, yeah. It looks more flattering going this way. The, the wrap going over that side. And then I am going to do a small amount of hand sewing so the wrap doesn't open up too much and then the skirt will be complete. It's gorgeous. I'm loving these tie details. The skirt feels absolutely secure. And yeah, I think it's at the right length. Adding back that section, the hem section, was a good idea. It's just. It's just cute. Love the pleats. <laughs> yeah. I like the movement of the pleats when I walk and I also like the movement of the ties. And I've sewn and hand sewn it there, that section there. So you do get a bit of flash of the leg. Not that much really when I walk. But no, it's it's good result. And it's sitting on my waistline. So yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, so I'm liking this. I surprised myself again. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like contemporary style clothing anyway. Um, and if you enjoy that, then please let me know in the comments so that I can think about putting a lot more out there for you, for you to enjoy and try attempt to do something similar for yourself. Um, so yes, do remember to check the description because I do put links to video tutorials of sewing techniques that are on my channel. So do click on those, watch those and then come back to the video and watch them side by side or whatever is your preferred method of learning and have a go and let me know. So um, yeah, that's all I've got for now and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.